Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folia. We are jumping in again. This time we are going to play as Mammon. That I last time called Mammoth, so I apologise. Everyone roasted me in the comments for that quite a lot. So yeah, sorry. Um, but yeah, we're playing as this fella. Um, I guess I'll just plop down my piggy here. People were saying I need to be a lot more sort of vigilant about making sure to just use one of them and not switch because the payouts are going to be a lot more common if I just stick with one guy. So I kind of knew that. I'm just stupid. Um, so hopefully we can get enough money we can pay this guy out. Are these new enemies? I don't remember seeing these guys before. Or at least I, I thought they were red before, not green. Um, maybe the green ones just all jump in unison because that seems to be what's going on right now. They seem to do three hops and then stops. Three hops and stops. Ooh. Hey, piggy piggies. Still don't really know how these pigs work. I've been sort of told that whatever I was doing was wrong, uh, but I don't really know what I was doing. Um, I have no idea. They, they're pigs. They do something. Something to do with the meat grinder. I don't know what. Hey, we got Lost Soul. Of course, we'll leave that right where it stands for now and come back to it um, after we've beaten the boss. It just makes zero sense to pick it up now. Ooh, that is a chunky dime right there. Hell to the yes. Hell to the yes. <clears throat> oh, almost picked it up. <laughs> um, for the question of the day, just a simple one. What's something that you've bought recently that you've regretted buying? I think I've asked something similar before, but these questions always have a lot of answers. Um, it'd be interesting to know what's something that you've bought recently that you that you really regret buying. For me, um, it's probably just a lot of the stuff that I bought for holiday. Um, someone's, what did it say? Someone's a what? Someone's an open shop chest. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Um, unfortunately, Papafly isn't really the, the, the thing that we're looking for around about now. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of stuff that I bought for holiday. Because it's like, I liked having it while I was there. But some of it was kind of expensive, especially the clothes. And I will quite literally not wear them again for, like, years. <laughs> um, we can get two soul hearts. We could hold off and get... Um, Hmm. That's 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 potentially that's potentially an avenue. I think I will take that, you know. I think it's pretty good. If we hold it until um the fourth floor, I think it is, we get a pretty good payout out of it. I realize that it hinders our ability to get some items and stuff. Okay, can you like stop going somewhere where I literally cannot shoot you? Thank you. Not too bad. And we got hot bombs out of it as well. I'm quite happy with hot bombs. That gives us five bombs to play around with. I'm not 100% sure, but this looks really secret roomy to me. It's not. It, 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 I feel like it obviously wasn't just because of the location, but it proper felt like it was. Um, I'm going to guess that it's here. What the hell? Here, maybe? Okay, that took a bit of doing. We got there in the end. We got a bomb back for it anyways. We got some extra money as well. Oh, it's nice. I should have probably let that guy pick up a bunch of mushrooms here. I don't know what this egg is. <laughs> um, I'll hold off my meat grinder till the next floor. I can play into it a bit more. And we'll take Lost Soul in a hot minute. But these guys... Good to go. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed my holiday. And, like, the stuff that I did buy for it was useful while I was there. Um, but it's like some of the clothes especially, like, I kind of wish I just wore a t-shirt now rather than like buying some like, I bought some like Hawaiian shirts sort of thing because I just wanted to. And I, like I said, I enjoyed them, but I just will literally never use them again. Oh damn, I completely forgot how crazy hot bombs are against this dude. The screw here, very, very nice. Like, quickly go back and get, um, our little buddy. Hey, little friend. Lost Soul's a great item to get this early on. I doubt we're going to be able to keep him alive, a like, for long each floor. But we'll give it a go. We'll head, to head, head down the normal path, if I can speak. And we'll get Soul Hearts. Yeah. Soul Hearts is kind of what I wanted. Angel item obviously would have been better, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna attempt fate and, and ask for that, because I won't get it. What? Kind of what I wanted right there. Right, let's pop this guy down. No item on the first play, but a damage up on the first play. That is pretty awesome. Uh, also, a decent trinket. 
We get a one up here that unfortunately for right now we cannot reach. Not that we need it super bad. Um, my health is completely fine right now. I feel no need for a one up. But if we can get it, it would be nice. I don't know if I want to bait these guys into destroying stuff, but too late now to kill them all. Good, good. Item room, what we got here. Of course, we've got money. Piggy. Hey, little piggies. Good, good. Yeah, I don't know if there's any reason to kill them. I'll find out what they do eventually, because you guys will tell me. But for right now, I have no idea. You guys probably have told me already at some point, and I just don't remember. That's probably the more frustrating thing for you guys. Shot speed. The shot speed one's definitely the most worthless. Like, range up isn't great, but shot speed is just meh. Oh, God damn it! you fired it right before I destroyed the fire. I mean, you probably want to get set in a light by these guys anyways. Extra bomb there, rather nice. We've already found a secret room on this floor, though. I'm really happy we got that damage up early. Super useful. We do have a Fool's Gold Brock there. I was going to say if we can walk this guy into it, but... Fat chance of that, he was a bit far away. Boom. Not getting many penny drops from enemies right now. We've had like a couple. The dime makes up for it, I will say. The dime definitely, definitely sees us through, but I'd like a few more. There's another damage up. Holy. That is awesome to see this early on. I was just about to say if I can destroy the fires early, I'd be very happy. I don't really know what to prioritize here. Because the fire dudes are a bit annoying. I think I ought to just destroy... Oh, shit. I forgot he did that. I was going to say I ought to destroy the fires before he can do much more. But it doesn't matter because uh, that happened. Um, let's drop down another meat grinder here. Um, I'll take Wiggleworm for the tears up and I'll bomb you straight away. Um, hoping for something good. Yeah, tears up is pretty good. I think that's something I need to do way more often with the uh, with the meat grinder. Is bombing them. just I think bombing them is super valuable, because uh, you always get one of those little capsule things, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, we've managed to keep our little buddy alive this far, so far, but we'll see if that, uh, oh, I just want to say, we'll see if that ends up uh, staying true. It will not, because this boss is impossible to not, to not get hit on. Like, actually. Especially the fucking little buddies that fly into the screen. They hit me constantly. You, you see? It's just, this this boss is hot, stinking bullshit. And hit again, because he just throws things at you at lightning speed. I do not like this boss at all. Bullshit boss for the floor that it appears on. Absolutely. Very, very annoyed. Really? Three random ones and two of them were shot speed ups? Yeah, I gotta say, I'll, I am not afraid to say it. That boss is horse shit. That boss needs to be fucking redesigned or worked on. Every single time I fight him, I know with 100% certainty that I'm getting hit. There should not be um, a boss like that in the game. Also, I didn't play my meat grinder dude. I really should have gone back and played him. It's fine. I'm going to forget a lot. Be prepared for it. Yeah, there should not be enemies in the game where you can know for a fact that you're getting hit. And that is certainly one of them. And now people may say, oh, well, it's a new boss and you don't know him for it. No. No. I know him perfectly well. I know how his attacks work. I know when he does his attacks. I know his telegraphs. But they're just BS. They're just not good. He needs work. We've got a soul of Isaac here. Enough complaining by me. I'm sorry, I'm just salty that I lost my little buddy to that. Like, I really shouldn't have lost him at all. Right. Good. Get a meat grinder down. Actually play this one out this time. Hey! Now, Anima Solar is so good that I'm just going to use this here. Anima Solar is, is very, very strong. I was going to hold off and try and get the, uh, try and get the extra bit of, uh, what's it called? Ooh. 
that's pretty useful. I'm guessing that's just for the room. Oh, you sit in this room. Oh, really? You sit in this room, it's literally useless. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, you... I hurt myself and didn't get it. Fuck! I was... Damn it. Oh, wait, they actually turned into black hearts. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely happy about that now. My money here. Good amount there. <coughs> Let's head over here. I just want to keep my little buddy alive just one time. Right, where did I spawn the piggy? Oh no, he, he insta paid out, didn't he? It doesn't matter. I forgot that he paid out straight away. What did we get there? We picked something up. Right, just remember to use Anima Solo whenever we can. Even if it hits the wrong enemy, like the enemy, not the enemy we want it to, it's still super useful, so. Good. Oh, heck, I didn't expect you to spawn there. Gather up our money until we get our meat grinder available again. We don't have to kill those things, do we? If I remember correctly. Oh no, we do, we do. Oh, oh my god, no! My little buddy. That's the only thing about getting Lost Soul. Basically, after after the first floor you pick it up, it's almost guaranteed to be useless. It's so hard to keep alive. Very frustrating. I thought this floor, maybe I could do it. But it was not meant to be. Didn't mean to use that. Didn't mean to use that. Holy. My god. Fuck off with all the shot speed, my dude. No one in the history of ever has needed this much shot speed. Even range would be significantly better. Also, oof. Oof, does it feel bad when they pay out with spiders. Like, a real slap in the face. Good. <clears throat> oh, I... <laughs> Game's annoying me today. Why on earth? Would I want to kick the bomb up in that direction, ever? Okay. Take him out. Angel deal, lovely. Wow, I paid one penny, and I got Balloon Familiar, which slowly changes colour over time when Isaac damages the balloon. Um, when I when Isaac takes damage, the balloon pops, dropping its corresponding heart. Balloon regenerates next room. Seems pretty good. <clears throat> right. Quickly head back. Blow up our piggy. Yeah, it seems like it's got a lot of safety to it, This um, this old balloon heart thing. It's good to know that the less money I have going into the angel deal, the better I... Ah! Fuck off! There must be, like, a rarity thing to how likely it is to get each one. Because you've got... Diggity damn, do you get a thousand of these stupid, stupid slings. Ooh. That's kind of funny. A reflected trinket that causes items to be reflected. I'm going to take it because it'll give us a gold one. Doubly increased chance for reflected stuff sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds dangerous, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Let's keep it going. Keep it rolling. See what we can do. Okay, let's try and keep our buddy alive again here. We've got so many rotten hearts right now that... We're going to be clearing rooms pretty darn fast. Just based on the Rotten Hearts. Let's leave, wait for this guy to move. <clears throat> Just got to keep a little eye on him. Keep him safe. Get our meat grinder down. I'm 
I'm not going to be getting many of the, the rolling pennies here, unfortunately. They're just kind of left by the wayside. Whatever happens to them, happens to them. Oh, you bastard, he hit me. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we got a Savage Heart here, I think. Yeah, Savage Heart. It's going to give us a fading damage increase, which is actually pretty useful. Good. <clears throat> what are you doing, sir? You seem to be lost. I don't like that. Amplifies or changes book's activation effects. Okay, thanks. He got friend finder. I wasn't expecting that. This one, I think we just pop and thingy. Ooh, this is actually, I just realized that's kind of an interesting synergy that we have going on there. Um, we have the ability to essentially proc our balloon whenever we want it using the meat grinder. That's pretty nice. That's pretty useful. We're going to be getting hearts back. We are going to lose our rotten hearts through doing this, but that's just kind of, it is what it is. God damn, look at the, the, the furs that we locked that guy in. It's hilarious. I'm sorry, lost soul. I was just like to say, I had to, I had to just go for that, even if it sacrificed him. I'm losing a lot of our rotten hearts here, but like I said, I'm not super, super attached to those. Really, just don't, don't give me flies. Very annoying. Convert red poop to regular poop. That's not very useful either. Thank you for the gesture, but not really what I was looking for. Give me a penny. Need one more penny to play it again. There's that one penny we're looking for. Whoop. Lots of reflected stuff around here. Bollocks! We were so close. Fuck you, you stupid. Ah, so annoyed. The Onk? I'm in a solo thingy that. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Holy, that's so much better. Hopefully we can get some luck capsules going on soon. Who's, who's to say that dude would have survived the boss anyways? It's fine. More... Bling capsules. Holy hell, so many flings. Right, check this out. There is a... Okay, it's just a normal reflected heart. Don't worry about that. Right, let's keep moving on. I kind of would like to open that, to be honest, but we've only got one key. Probably not worth. Right, put two more players on you. Give us an item. Not spiders. An item. Range upgrade isn't really what I was looking for either, but hey her. There's another range upgrade. Range is looking pretty good now. Right. Carry on. Not getting as many item payouts as I'd quite like to see here, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Get my flies and stuff in there. Spider, if you'd like to make your way towards the boss, please, that'd be just grand. Hopefully we can get a good amount of crits here. This boss shouldn't be too bad. The room is a little smaller than the normal room for this guy would be. But should mean shouldn't mean too much is what I was gonna say. And we get heart concern again, a soul heart at the start of each floor. Very, very nice. Um keep going. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Good stuff, good stuff. I do really love playing as Mammon. I just, I just wish the payouts from the, uh, from the active item was a little more fair sometimes. I feel like I get screwed over by them a lot. Eh, flat penny. Probably a good idea, actually. I really like the reflected stuff, but flat, we have a, a lack of keys right now, and he's dead already. The flat penny could save us. 
Really? What, what was I meant to do in that situation there? <laughs> Beans. Turbo beans. I'm guessing that's- is that what's what they're meant to be? I have no actual idea what they're meant to be. I think it is a tub of beans. Because they fart, so I assume it's beans. Ah, dropped the penny in the worst spot. It's alright, I got it there. Now that should reward us with a good few keys. We might be able to even go back to the reflective one after this floor, depending on how many keys we come out of this floor with. They can do a lot of damage here, but don't worry about it. It's just my burn hearts. Getting a good amount of crits getting out there and actually landing as well, which is nice. to you fella you gave me stat capsules have an increased chance to drop as a room reward um have an increased chance to repl mm. that's definitely tempting let's give that a go for this floor and see if we notice the difference because this this character seems to be one that kind of relies on these stat capsules to keep him going wow these things move fast Mm, that is also very, very good. That is an, also a very, very good trinket. Right, for this room, I think we want to be um, doing the whole enter, pick up as much as we can, exit, and repeat. There you go. We got everything. I think it's much easier that way. But yeah, because I'm thinking we can trigger a heart balloon on picking up a penny, which could give us a lot of health. Like I said, let's 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 hold off for now and see how this this trinket performs. Estrogen up! Holy shit! Okay, estrogen up is insane. We just traded all of our red hearts for a bunch of clots, but that's like. Increased our DPS output by a shit ton. I thought it'd maybe give you one clot. Giving you this many clots is uh, is dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Let's check the shop first before we pay in some our buddy. That's nah, good, it's good. I'm only paying into this one because he's literally in the way of the door. I realise there's another one I should be paying into. I genuinely thought he'd spawn in front of me, not behind me, so... Kind of messed up myself there. Tis what it is, though. Tis what it is. But we haven't had one payout with an item in a little while here. Damage, though, is lovely. I'm not seeing any stat capsules drop from room clearing so far, so... I think this item has had its day. I don't think this item's really paying out the way we want it to. Right. Use that again. Booyah. I think this guy would just bomb. More range, lovely. Everything has perished. Right, this guy we pay into one more time, and then we start blowing people up. Spawns a blue spider when picking up a coin. That's pretty good, but not very really useful for us right now. Even more range. Our range is getting kind of ridiculous. So I haven't seen our item room yet. Head back and try and find that, shall we? Yeah, so far this trinket's dookie.
I mean, it's only been one floor, but like, not seeing much value out of it so far. Got a stack of pennies. Right. Head back over this way. I'm definitely gonna take this. I think this is more valuable. We've got enough keys now, so we don't need the uh, thingy. I'll play you again, because I played into you quite a lot. Hey, it's terrible. <laughs> well, it's not terrible, but it's just nowhere near as good as Anivasola. Being able to explode enemies at low HP versus being able to lock an enemy in place and completely nullify its ability to deal damage. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure about that one. Oh my god. Having all these guys with the crits is pretty insane. Okay, and then just some supper. Just some supper is all. But yeah, my thinking with the um with the on hit effect one is that I might be able to um I might be able to get my heart my heart balloon to trigger on picking up a coin that drops from an enemy being killed and we can do that once every room depending on how many coins drop so i feel like it could be pretty valuable um we got an eternal heart here was that i think that was from my balloon actually i think what i was just talking about proved itself to be effective right there and then So I think the grey heart means it's not filled with anything. I think if it's grey, it means it's not going to do anything for us. That's a... Uh, okay, so we should maybe get a trigger here? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that is exactly what I'm talking about, right? We don't actually lose any health, but we gain the health from the balloon. Unfortunately, the balloon there was just... Um, was just a half red heart. It seems to be that the more rooms we clear without getting hit, the better the reward we get. So we don't we don't want to be triggering it instantly. So I think this will be a full red heart. Yeah, so now it's a full red heart. And then next room it'll be a, a half soul heart, half red heart, I think. This enemy's been rather annoying. And then we can pop that. Bomb you the... Boot capsule. Finally some speed. Lovely. Right. Head back over to our original dude. It'd be nice if we had a minimap icon for the little, uh, mammon beggars. Them not having a minimap icon is slightly weird. That's a good trinket, but not really what we need right now. So yeah, like the longer we go without it triggering, kind of the better for us. Honestly, I'm just gonna blow this guy up. Ooh, look. Link capsule. Dude, I can't hit these guys because they're outside the map. Keep bonking them off the screen. Doesn't really work for me, that, does it? Doesn't really work for me. That's a lot of chests. Really? Damn it. <laughs> a reflective one of those doesn't do anything. Oh, damn, that was the payout of the century right there. Oh, the Holy hell, we got some good stuff here.
That's a lot of money. Right, and then we want to keep the, the Hierophant card. There's also a double soul heart there if we want it for later. I want the fucking Get the Hierophant card. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Okay. We want to be charging up our uh, meat grinder again now because we have a lot to, uh, to play it with now. And even more on top of that because of a dime. God damn. What a crazy payout that was from that chest. <laughs> Paid six cent and got about 60. Holy, okay, we are in the money. I wish, I wish we had more on-hit effects that could help us out. So we are triggering it a hell of a lot right now. Sadly, the balloon is only a once per room sort of thing, and even then it's uh, something that isn't that great if we get to trigger straight away. It doesn't synergize as well as I was hoping it would. I thought it'd be a random heart each room rather than an upgraded one. So if we end up paying it out early, it's not as valuable, which is a shame. But so far, this is pretty good for a run. As far as runs go, I'm gonna say it's pretty good. I mean, I know this is just gonna be money, but still, why not? And then we can meet grind. Um, actually, do I want to try and pop it in the angel deal? Maybe I do. I don't know if that makes any difference. Oh wait, oh no, I don't. Because if I get an angel deal, it's gonna take away half my money, right? But having all this money is actually not a good thing at all. He is up good. Hey, that's gonna be crazy. Uh, jumper cables, I will definitely take. I think we ought to buy a charge for this and then use it in order to uh, get a bit more going on here and not lose too much money in an angel deal. That's a really good trinket, that. Half, the half as long for enemy creep, twice as long for player creep. And we get roll film. Not super useful for us, but decent. Also, actually appropriate for the room uh, that we used it in. So we know that it, it does ad adhere to... Um, to whatever room you're in, so maybe I should just be popping them in secret rooms constantly. God damn, with the crits, this is so quick. Devil deal. Hello, good sirs. I will definitely take that, thank you. And Damocles is, is kind of saucy and not super useful because of how late in the game we are. But it makes for a fun run, so why not? Right, we've already done Polaroid, so let's take negative here. Let's go. Okay, that was that was a very, very good floor. A very, very good floor indeed. Hey, and you paid out with two items. The axe is insane. Soul Locket is pretty good. Don't think you can stop me bombing these by moving them apart from one another. I will still bomb them. See, this this is um, the sort of thing that I'm talking about, though, with um, with some of the stuff in... I think it's Afterbirth Plus, at, uh, not Afterbirth Plus, Repentance Plus, at least. Because, uh, yeah, the absolute insanity that was that one estrogen pill uh, is kind of crazy. Now, one thing that's making it even crazier is I do have a mod that, that rebuffs... Um, that rebuffs Tainted Eve, making her clots not die over time. So that is definitely making it more overpowered than it otherwise would be. But still, like, the 
it really should not take away all your red hearts and give you clots for every single one. It should give you like a maximum of three. Because this, like, it's just carrying the entire run right now. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, we should be popping fish, really. I keep placing him right in front of the door for some reason. I'm kind of addicted to that. Also, the clots are doing a really good job at making sure I don't get hit and trigger uh, Damocles as well. More damage. Gotta love it. Right. Definitely Parasite is, uh, is causing quite a bit of lag. But that's, it is what it is. I like Parasite anyways, so I'm not going to complain. Yeah, the amount of shots we're firing, it's just, it's just ludicrous. It's just crazy. I feel like I'm cheating because I got one pill, which is nuts. <laughs> A single pill should not be able to give you this much power. And like I said, it, it is slightly unintentional um, because it shouldn't be able to... Uh, give you this much power. They technically should be dying over time and eventually be one-shotted. But even still, they're, they're very strong for that. I really hope I can get paired with an items. I could get doubles. Technically, I could play this. Okay. I got this, which seems to be a new item that you can get from Blood Banks. Full red hearts and full soul hearts are both converted into blended hearts. It's kind of decent. And then Proptos is, of course, a banger of an item. What the hell? He's, he's half-headed. What happened to him? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I hadn't seen that before. I've not fought, bl not fa fought Blighted Irvum in a while. I wonder if the axe gains Proptosis as well. Probably, probably, right? Seems like we're going the right way so far here. I was wrong. Also, the amount of range and shot speed we have is making Proptosis very good. It's making it essentially just a freebie. Because the, the tears take so long to shrink that we're gaining that damage bonus pretty much all the time at all ranges. Keep this going. Um, I guess I will play out. I got a thingy heart there. Um, let's see. Blood bombs. Why didn't he spawn two items for Damocles? I don't understand why that didn't spawn two items. Definitely should have done. Didn't adhere to Damocles' rules. What's left? Tissue? Yeah, good, good. I'm trying to just fire as little as I can. Just to, to, to lower the amount of lag, but also, like, I don't really have to shoot that much. Things are dying pretty quick. Oh, we got this guy. I mean, we had this guy. He's dead now. Very cool boss. Didn't really get to see much from him. In fact... I'm gonna say, yeah, I don't exactly know how this is gonna work. I think we got him. Yeah, he's, a he's actually dead now. Good. <laughs> Hello, sir. Lump of coal is lovely. Void bombs are very nice. Um, if we spawn a, a meat dude in here... Okay, no, when you spawn them in here, they are just normal. More shot speed is actually okay for me this time around. And we kept our buddy alive, so he might drop some stuff for us in the next floor as well. I like that. Hey, he did. Although not angel deals, surprisingly. I don't know why that is the case. Give me large zit and a bean item.
Check all the other enemies out first. Okay. I'm gonna keep my keys going. I don't actually need my keys much, so there's not much point to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyways. But yeah, you can see just how wild our damage has become. It has become quite wild. Meat grinder once again, just to bomb him. Even more range, like I said, that's crazy. Even more damage, that's even crazier. I like it a lot. Gotta be careful because I am spending red hearts when I use that, but it's not a lot. Hey, we lost our buddy this time around. It was bound to happen at some point on the wound floors. I'm surprised he lived as long as he did. Why do I keep going against the grain with this room? I just follow the path. Would be much simpler for me. Oops. Yeah, having all hearts as blended hearts is nuts. That's so powerful. <laughs> wow. I might as well take this at this point. We got... Grants multicolored tears with different effects. Ooh, I like that. And... After 10 seconds of being in a non-special room, uh, the doors will open. You deal 7 times damage to monsters. Eh, we don't really care about that. Pretty useful for, like, weaker runs, but... On a run like this, there ain't no way we're being in a room for more than 10 seconds. Yeah, I like the multicoloredness of this. That is something I like quite a lot. Try and just beeline it to the end of this floor. Because I don't know where I'm going, but... I'll try my best to navigate this floor. God damn, yeah, this is a very strong run. We've got a turtle heart there as well. Quickly just go back and grab that, because why not? We'll pop you... More tears. Seems the tears can go well above the cap as well, like this. Actually, see our hearts as well, so we can manage our usage of meat grinder a little easier. One shot that guy. And we did indeed beeline it to the boss, too. Very nice. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Ooh, he's got some uh, new animations to his last phase here. I like that. Not that it's going to do much. He's still dead. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We should have definitely gone Mega Satan here, really. Would have been a good uh, opportunity. <laughs> we don't really know what we've got here. Uh, that's Eye of the Occult. That is Void Bombs. That is the Red King Crown. And that's the Sanguine Hook, whatever it's called. I just want to test my knowledge here. Void Bombs? Yeah, there you go. Abyss Bombs, that's the ones I meant. Eye of the Occult. This is the Red King Crown, I think. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> I'm, I'm very proud of myself for getting all of those. Eye of the Occult was pretty easy, but... I think the Red King Crown and the Abyss Bombs were pretty difficult. I'm glad I got the both of those. Especially considering both of those are modded items as well. I'm proud of myself. Right, and then here we got... Hypno Ring. Don't know that one. Driftwood? Yeah! I really like this curse. I think it's a really fun addition. Just because of that reason. It really does test your knowledge of the shapes of items. Harlequin baby and explosivo. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love that I'm getting these. 
Also, we have 11 luck, so yeah, we're going to be uh, getting quite a few items as long as we don't get hit here. But this guy can hit me pretty easily, to be honest, because he can pierce through my hard exterior shell. It's taking quite a while to go down as well, actually. Um, but da -da -da -da. I, I genuinely don't know either of these two. That looks like a, 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 a duck. Nope, it's Bob's heart. Bob's heart is terrible. Uh, I don't know what this is. Yeah, I've not seen that item before. That's that, that's another problem with, with doing this. There's quite a lot of items I just haven't seen yet. Oh my god, I forgot about the look with all the crits. Holy. And then we got, that's Gusty Blood. Oh, well, no, not, it's not Gusty Blood. It's, it's one of the blood items. It's the one from Repentance Plus, I think. No, it is Gusty Blood. I am right. Um... And this is some sort of jar with blood coming from it. Oh, it's just cute, baby. It's not blood. Okay. Then we got... Oh, this is a very fun item. This is the planetoid, I think it's called. Broke planet. Yeah, that's the one I meant. And then this is adrenaline. Yeah. Definitely a terrible item for us to pick up in our situation. Because, um... Just does not work well with, uh... What's it called? Can't remember the name of the item. Proptosis. Definitely not something we should have picked up. Also, it seems very laggy. In fact, I might have to get rid of it. Um, it's causing a lot of errors. Remove. Rug. Planet. Just to try and clear up this mess. Because it's definitely causing issues. I love the item, but... Yeah. We're much better off without it. Likewise, at least. Got a Baleful Heart there as well, nice. Guns Cap and Bled Pencil, that's pretty, that's pretty obvious. We're all heading over to the poof. I'm lining up one by one to, to shit in that poop. Fall over for you now. What's this little Bible doing? Fuck it, Bible. It's a trinket. I didn't realize it was a trinket. Um, moments reduced to half health on starting with fight also affect most heart and it lives. That's kind of decent. Mini Bible. Right. Oh, this room's not over. Fuck. Everything dead? No, everything was not dead. Fuck. We lost perfection. And we activated Damocles finally. Although that shouldn't matter at this point. Um, yeah, I was not expecting to get hit there. I, I thought everything was dead. It doesn't really matter. It just means we won't get as many items. And we won't be getting, won't be getting as many crits, either. That guy is stretchy. He's on one. Push him back. Ow. Oh, he was under the ground. All of these enemies I don't really understand very well. I'm kind of worried now, actually, about Damocles. It's so rare, like, so unlikely that it'll end up hitting, just because of how, like, late we activated it. But it's not, like, the chance is, is more than zero. Significantly more than zero, so... I'm a little scared. I think we got this guy? Yeah, we did. Stop with your lengthy death animations. We must leave. I kind of find it funny that I can just, like, shoot once and let all the tears dance around. Let an enemy walk through them and they just insta-die. Rooms like this break my brain. Oh, 
Hello, lamb. I'm gonna play this one rather chill. I think I need to. Just let Explosivo do most of the work here. Lead Pencil causes a crazy huge storm of bullets there. But there you go. That was a very fun run. A very fun run indeed. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.